Stephen Carty joined the Spokane Rentals Facebook page to find a home. I live in South Carolina. I'm about 35 hours from Spokane. He's moving across the country for work. I started trying to find a place, and I mean, it's either been no return calls or, you know, no response from the websites or just it's already been rented. It's just really no luck at all. That seems to be a trend right now. There's more posts from people looking for homes than there are homes for rent, and the available ones tend to be pricey. And that's really been the thing. It's, I don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth. So what's driving prices up so much right now? Experts say it's the vacancy rate. Over 99% of the rentals in Spokane are already full, meaning landlords know they can bring prices up and people will still rent. Then you layer on top of it COVID and the eviction moratorium and you've got kind of a perfect storm of multiple things getting in the way of people being able to find housing. So it's, yeah, it's, it's awful. <laughs> There's two big reasons this is happening right now. One, Spokane's population grew a lot without enough new housing going up. And second is the county's zoning. So you don't, can't build condos hardly in Spokane County and you can't, it's, you can't build apartments in certain areas. So you can only build single family homes. In such a tough market, Edie Rice Sowers advice is this. Frankly, I think if somebody doesn't have to move right now, it's better just to stay put because there's just not a lot of options. But for people like Steven, it's just frustrating. Like, I don't know where to go. I've been living on Craigslist, all the, all the websites and apps you could think of, nothing. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Creme 2 News.